Bonjour mes chéris. Hello my darlings and welcome to the Young Folk Knits podcast. This episode is all about the French girl beauty style, knitting edition. Bienvenue mes chéris. Hello and welcome my darlings to the Young Folk Knits podcast. My name is Casey and I am the maker here at Young Folk Knits. This is a channel mainly about knitting, also some sewing, spinning, and who knows what other crafts may pop in here now and again. I live with my husband and our children on a small farm in Arkansas where we are beekeepers, we love raising animals and spending time outside in the foothills of the Ozarks. Today I thought it would be really fun to explore the French girl beauty style. This is a style that I absolutely adore because it's all about effortless sophistication. And I thought it would be really fun to take you through my routine of skincare, makeup, and outfit selection all using the French Girl Beauty Rolls. So if you think that sounds like fun, then I hope you'll join me for my French Girl Beauty routine. Bienvenue and welcome to my nightly routine. One thing I find really fascinating about the French skincare, makeup, everything, the Parisian French girl rules is that you don't want to hide yourself. You don't want to hide your face with a lot of makeup. Instead, you want to enhance your features. I've noticed often that the Parisian French girl makeup style is very minimal. And so what they really focus on first is good skincare. If you take really good care of your skin, then you don't need to apply as much makeup afterwards. So step number one is to start with the skin. The same for the hair. So if it's already in a healthy state, then it's a lot easier to have effortless styling. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Lily Silk. Lily Silk is a company with absolutely beautiful silk apparel, silk accessories like pillowcases, heatless curling stylers, headbands, as well as beautiful cashmere sweaters. They only use 100% natural premium materials like 100% mulberry silk and Mongolian cashmere. They also talk about how they go to great lengths to keep their products clean and toxin free. One thing I absolutely love is the option they have on some of their apparel to tailor the clothing pieces. For instance, you can change the skirt to the length you want. You can embroider a name on the product or customize the size to fit your measurements. Lily Silk sent me a few different products to try out. First of all was their beautiful silk pillowcases. Isn't it gorgeous? I've been using silk pillowcases for about five years now and honestly I feel like I can't go back. A silk pillowcase provides so many benefits for your skin as well as your hair. If you have curly hair it is almost mandatory I feel like. It really helps to keep my hair from tangling and the silk prevents tugging which helps to prevent creases and wrinkles forming on your face along with multiple other skin benefits. This is a great example of French girl preventative beauty. So sleeping with a silk pillowcase is not only luxurious, but it provides a lot of benefits. Lily Silk has very kindly offered a code for an extra 12% off to my followers. You can type in the code YOUNGFOLK12 to receive your extra discount. With the current holiday sale, it's a great time to try out one of their silk pillowcases, either for yourself or a gift for someone special. Another item I picked out is this heatless hair curler. Now I have tried these before and the reason I love them is because I don't like to use heat on my hair. Since I got my bangs cut, I do try to blow dry my bangs a little bit, but I really don't like using heat on my hair. I did blow dry it just a little bit and brush it out so that the crown of my head wasn't wet. If this part of your head is wet, whenever you place a heatless styler in, it's gonna be really hard for it to dry and that could create a environment that's hospitable toward yeast and you definitely don't want that. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you how I use this. I, first of all, place it right here so that it's centered and I like to use one of these clips to hold it in place. And then I just try to 
get my bangs <laughs> somewhat out of the way. Now, I love that this is silk too because it's gonna slide right out of my hair very easily without catching and pulling whenever I'm ready to take it out. So what I do is just gather my hair in sections and start twisting all in the same direction. And I'll just continue to wrap it until I reach the end of my hair. And then I'll take one of the silk ponytail holder scrunchies and put it on the end. So now I'm going to do the same on this side, just kind of move my bangs out of the way. And I'll grab a top section and start wrapping. I'll just keep going until I've got all of my hair wrapped around. And then what I will do is sleep with this in overnight and I'll show y'all in the morning what it looks like with heatless curls. <laughs> for now, I'm going to show you the rest of my nightly ritual for my skincare. So first of all, I'm going to go in with my toner. I'm just gonna go in and use one of these facial radiance pads by First Aid Beauty. I have extremely sensitive skin and there are very few products that I can actually use. For a long time, I couldn't even use moisturizer. And that was because I didn't realize that you could buy clean moisturizer that had very few ingredients in them. I do look at what Sephora and Credo Beauty have certified as clean, and usually they have very few ingredients. They are not sensitizing, fragrance-free. Those make it much less likely for my face to react to the products. I do have rosacea also, so I like to use things that help with redness. The Parisian beauty style definitely starts with good skin first. Good skin, not perfect, is what they say. Um, so first of all, I'm going to apply this Kosas serum. It's a spray serum, which is new. This is the Biosense Squalene Peptide Eye Gel and I like to use this all around the orbit of the eye. One of my absolute favorite eye products is this Biosense Squalene and Marine Algae Eye Cream. I love it, it works wonderful, but look at this color. This is so wonderful to put on in the morning because it color corrects some of the dark circles, but I use it a.m. and p.m try to help avoid getting wrinkles too quickly. So one thing that is important is the order of your products. I want my face to be wet when I apply my serums, but damp really, not soaking wet. So I'm just gonna dry my face just a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with my Marie Veronique Vitamin C and E serum. I like to pat those in and they absorb so much better with a little bit of dampness from the from the toning serum that I spritzed on. And then last of all for my serums, I'm going to use this Marie Veronique Barrier Restore Serum. So another rule for Trench Girl Beauty is that it doesn't really matter what brand it is. Trying the newest, latest thing isn't important, but instead, what you do is find your holy grail products and then you use them for the rest of your life. <laughs> find what works and stick with it. This is one of the few moisturizers that I can use and it is Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Another French beauty rule is that skincare does not stop at the chin. <laughs> so always make sure and continue your skincare down your neck and your decollete certainly don't want to have beautiful healthy looking skin on your face and then immediately notice that the skin on your neck and decollete has been ignored and then the last thing that I use 
is a face oil. This is La Prunier Plum Beauty Oil. This oil I like to pat in and I make sure and go all the way down my neck because the last thing that I'm going to do on my nightly routine is gua sha. This is often known as the Botox of the East. I love it. I do it every night. And if you do it regularly, you will see a difference. My rose quartz broke <laughs> this week. And um, so I'm just using the side of it. But I like to make sure it's got lots of oil. You don't want it to tug on your skin. And before you start, wash your hands. Wash your hands and wash your tools. So I did that before I got started. I like to start on my neck and I repeat each section five times. So I'll slowly move up five times here. And I'll do the same mirrored on the other side. I'll start here at the collarbone. This is actually not only going to help firm your muscles, depuff your skin, your, help your lymph nodes, but this is also going to help your product to absorb better. It pushes it into the skin. that you have enough product or oil so that it does not tug on your skin. You want it to glide over your skin without tugging. And hopefully I look like a glazed donut when I go to bed. <laughs> the French Parisian makeup styles focus heavily on lipstick. And that means that you want lips that are not cracked and dry. Instead, you want them healthy and moisturized. Bonjour mes chéris. Good morning, I have just got up and done a few quick chores and now it is time to get ready for the day so i'm going to apply some makeup in the classic french girl parisian style and then i'm going to take my hair out of this heelas curler and it will be time for the big reveal <laughs> there's nothing on the back of your head so it's very easy to sleep in french girl skin tip number one hydrate 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 I have already cleansed my face this morning with just a light cleanse. Here in North America, stripping cleansers are really big, but in France and other European countries, stripping cleansers are a no-no. It's really bad for the skin. We currently have COVID. It has finally got us and I'm very puffy and have a lot of inflammation. I keep this in the fridge to keep it cool and I like to roll this rose quartz over my eyes and skin to depuff. French Girl Beauty tip number two is good skin, but not perfect skin. They're all about enhancing, not hiding. So especially because I'm sick, I have some dark circles under my eyes and I'm gonna use a little bit of this RMS uncover up concealer just in the hollows another common thing is to use your fingers to apply to apply your makeup so always wash your hands the french have a phrase toi fois rien literally translated that means three times nothing <laughs> but what it is all about is effortless it you know it's got to be three times nothing it's got to be easy quick my brows to be heavy so I'm just going to lightly fill in a few sparse places. Sisters, not twins. Or distant cousins, in my case. 
And I'm gonna use just a clear brow gel from Kosas. Since the last bit of skincare I applied was some face oil, then the makeup that I'm using just sort of melts into it. So another aspect of the French Girl makeup is that they don't focus heavily on their eyes. Instead, they focus with color on their lips and their cheeks. They don't contour or anything like that. One of my favorite French beauty gurus is Jean de Moss, and she actually often doesn't even wear mascara. She just, she always curls her eyelashes. Curling your eyelashes though is a must. That of course makes you look very awake and opens the eyes. One thing I often see, which I guess is part of the Tuafohan, is using lipstick not only for their lips, but then they'll pat it on their cheeks and their eyelids for a bit of color as well. I'm gonna be using my absolute favorite blush today, which is Petal by Westman Atelier. I don't wear a lot of makeup and I don't wear makeup often. And so because of that, I only have a little bit of makeup, but it lasts me for two years. And I'm just gonna dot a bit of this color on my eyelids. This is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. It's clean, it doesn't make my eyes water. I'm only going to do mascara on my top lashes. I'm gonna go for this Parisian Red. First a bit of hydration. Now the Parisian French Girl lip look is what they call the Just Bitten just bitten or just kissed look. So it doesn't have a very defined edge and they almost always apply it with their fingers, even from a lipstick tube. This is a little bit harder for me to apply with my fingers, so I am gonna use a brush to apply it, but I am then going to pat it in to give me more of that just kissed look. I'm gonna go in with this deeper color in the and always a bit of gold jewelry. This, this necklace was a gift from my husband and my gold earrings. Right now it's time for the hair reveal. <laughs> So all I do is take the silk scrunchies off of the bottom. And because this is silk, it should just slide right out of your hair. <gasps> Look at that, it has set overnight. Zero heat, lots of curl though. Zero heat, but it looks like I have curled my hair. Something else I love to do is this Le Premier Pum Oil that I use on my face. I also like to take a dash of it and use it in my hair. Tame some frizz. This is my Sephora brand cream lip stain. And that is how I do the Parisian French girl beauty routine. So now let's chat a little bit about French girl style and some knits that I think would look fabulous. First of all, whenever you think of the French style, 
I know the classic beret always comes to mind. I recently knitted this Beast Beast beret. Uh, sorry, Nordland. I absolutely love it. This is held with one strand of Knitting for Olive Merino and one strand of Farmer's Daughter Fibers Surrey and some of the leftover Surrey from my Alpenglow sweater. I just blocked it. And I love it. When looking at that classic Parisian style, a lot of times their clothes tend to be neutrals. Blacks, whites, creams, and even the camel brown, rusty brown, but they wear it in a neutral way. Accessories are a great way to add a pop of color. And if you want to be extra chic, simply add in some long suede gloves. I absolutely love sunglasses. I love styling them. I think they add a certain je ne sais quoi to an outfit. <laughs> These sunglasses are a favorite of mine. I'm going to be starting some giveaways featured in each episode for the next few weeks. And first up, I want to give one of you a matching pair of these sunglasses. All you need to do to enter this giveaway is subscribe to my channel and comment on this video. Another great accessory that I absolutely love is the selfie scarf. And I think that it has a fabulous French girl vibes. Back to my French beauty style guru, Jeanne Damas. She often wears knits. Key to pulling off knits in the French girl Parisian way is definitely to make the masculine feminine. So I notice often in the French style, in the Parisian style, they may wear menswear, blazers, um, menswear shirts, different things like that. Often they're oversized, but they always bring it in to accentuate their waist. So that means usually tucked in to their pants, to their skirt, using a belt to accentuate their waist. And I see that a lot with their sweaters. So they may be wearing a really oversized sweater that the top has a lot of ease, but they always tuck it into their waistline. And that helps define their waist instead of looking like they're drowning. So some of my favorite pullover sweaters that I think could be knit and worn really well in this Parisian style. First of all, the Paloma, which is a pattern by Espace Tricot. I think that this knit long enough to tuck in to the waistline could be really fun. Either knit in a cream, a black even, or a nice beige. I think that this would be a great neutral piece. Another pullover sweater I love is the Beemon blouse. This is a pattern by Park Williams on Instagram. She is Park Knit. And to me, this gives absolutely beautiful, romantic, feminine Parisian vibes. This is knit with a lot fingering, so it would be a little bit of an investment in time, but the drape should be absolutely beautiful. Another pattern that I think would be really great is one that I'm currently testing, and it is called the Harlow Sweater by Sabina from Kadri on Instagram. And I think this is a classic example of a sweater with a lot of nice positive ease that you can then accentuate at the waist by tucking it in at the waistline. Another great way to style a sweater like this is with a slip dress. I have a simple black slip dress and it's cut on the bias so it has some great drape and it hugs you but also stretches <laughs> in the right places. To me this is the perfect example of a very feminine dress that you could then put an oversized sweater on with positive ease and get a very sophisticated Parisian vibe. So another outfit inspiration that I absolutely love is again by my <laughs> French style icon, Jeanne de Moss. And in this outfit, she is wearing a cardigan with some classic jeans and a white tee. And I absolutely love the lilac color that she opted for. And again, it looks like this cardigan has negative ease and really accentuates her waist. A few different cardigans that I think would look really well styled similarly in an outfit um, is first of all, the burrow cardigan, which is by Fable Knitwear. It is a DK weight pattern, 
So I think it would knit up fairly quickly and it would be very, very pretty in a similar lilac color. Another great one is the Anson Cardigan, which is a pattern by Rachel McLean from Fine Fiber. And this is, this has lot fingering and lace held together. So similar to a sport or DK weight. And since it ties at the waist, it gives it that bit of femininity and really accentuates the waist. I think another great option would be the Felix cardigan. You could knit it a bit cropped. You could knit it with some negative ease if you wanted to. And I think it would be absolutely perfect styled with some jeans and a t-shirt and maybe some nice heels. <laughs> another outfit that I see often in French style is a silk shirt. Again, it can take that menswear button up shirt, but turning it very feminine with the drape of silk and tucked into, and then tucked into the waistline of your pants, it gives a very sophisticated silhouette. Lily Silk kindly gifted me one of their silk shirts. And I think that this would be a perfect option to style in the French girl way with jeans. Another way that you can incorporate this into your knitwear is to style the silk shirt over a camisole. I think that's the way I'm gonna put it on today. It could also be really fun over a slip dress and tied in a knot at the waist. But I think I'll get dressed and try this on with my camisole number five by My Favorite Things Knitwear. Thank y'all for joining me today. I hope y'all had as much fun as I did with the French girl beauty styles. If you enjoyed this video, then let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do another specific style. Don't forget to enter this week's giveaway and stay tuned for patterns and yarn and a bag from Mud Living coming up in the next few videos. Thank y'all again and until next time, happy knitting. And don't forget, you can use the code YOUNGFOLK12 for an extra 12% off your purchase.